Once again, it's time for NARCON, and this time it's NARCON Winter 2024. It's a weekend full of cosplay and events and activities of all kinds. And as usual, I'm gonna see what we can find here. So let's get started on exploring NARCON Winter 2024. Narcon Winter usually takes place at Bacheliuskolan or Katedralskolan in Linköping, but this year apparently it takes place at both schools. Most of the activities happens at Bacheliuskolan, but the main stage and the dormitories is at Katedralskolan, and that's probably a good thing because the stage is much bigger there. As usual, there's a lot to see and do at Narcon. It's an event that focuses on interaction and social activity. There's games and karaoke, and of course a lot of panels for different fandoms. There's also video games and arcade games and meetups of all kinds. Oh, and of course, there's a lot of cosplay. If anyone is curious, I'm actually not cosplaying Genshin Impact for once. I'm cosplaying the Mad Priest Alexander Anderson from Helsing. I'm gonna cut you down like straw, trembling before my lord. Amen. Right. I'm so curious. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> it's um the things we're bringing that we don't want everyone to see, like our phones and charger and stuff like that. So. We use a prop to hide them and then... That's really clever! Nice work! <laughs> Thank you! That's an awesome guitar you've got! Can you play something on it? Of course! <laughs> you have a sign on your back that says you, people get free candy if they can recognize you. Yes, because this character is uh, very unknown, I would say. Yeah, no one recognizes me. No one knows what anime I'm from, what game, yeah. So uh, no one has gotten candy yet? No, not a single one. I honestly don't think there's a single person on this convention who knows who I am. <laughs> um, is it from Rose of Versailles? No. No, it's uh, from uh, an anime and a game called Takt OP Destiny. I have no idea, sorry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's very underrated uh, actually. I think it's pretty well known in Japan, but it's abroad, it's not really. I love that Doctor Who costume. Yeah. Which one is your favorite doctor? Well, I'm currently wearing him, number 11, with a very, very, very close 10. But very close, but still love 11. Do you have any least favorite doctor? Oh, least favorite? Well, unfortunately, not really. I pretty much <laughs> like the entire show. That's fortunately. Oh. So I can say a favorite, but not really a worse one. I think you have the most intricate hair at Narcon. How long, <laughs> how long did it take to make it? About a summer. I spent like an entire summer on it. It was a lot of just gluing on like I built up the shape out of foam and then I just spent gluing it all summer long. But it has such a hairy texture as well. Yeah, it's, it's just wig hair. I bought the wefts and then I just cut them to length and glued them. One hair at a time. Not quite. I took like a bit of a section, not too big, but a bit. But it looks amazing. So really good work. Thank you so much. That's an amazing costume. Was it difficult to make that smile? You know, my father uh, helped me. Uh, he was quite a fiend. Uh, so I ended up in front of the mirror this morning and uh, used some latex and made it myself. <laughs> Thank you. I thought you were going to go with my father. He cut my mouth when I was five. <laughs> you see, um, not today. <laughs> 
So how many accidents have you caused yet? Zero. <laughs> Zero, are you sure? Yeah, except for freaking out the pandas uh, when they think I'm falling. <laughs> Good job. So you're an expert uh, skater, in other words. No. <laughs> uh, but uh, I learned uh, yesterday to walk up and uh, down the stairs pretty uh, smooth. So have you tried the railings yet? No. Uh, the <laughs> simple reason is because uh, you see the two middle wheels, they are too close together. So I, uh, if I would even try it, and I probably wouldn't uh, succeed, uh, they would uh, snag on the railing and I would fall. <laughs> That's an amazing costume. Thank you. How come you're cosplaying as someone from the Fatui? Um, I think it was mostly because my friend wanted to match with me. Um, but then I, of course, love this character. I think she's super cool and the character design is just amazing. I feel super comfortable in it as well. Oh, nice. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, and she's been great in the story as well so yeah. far. Yeah, I look forward to see more of her, definitely. <laughs> what do you think about Nadcon? Honestly, I think it's very fun and like, honestly, this is like my second Narcon ever, but like, I think it's the most amazing thing that you can do, honestly. Except for the ride here, it's like four hours from where I live and it's like, not so fun. Four hours for a convention, that, that's a good effort. Yeah, that is a really good effort, especially when you just have to like, try to find the trains, find the routes and find, ju just find your way here. Do you like any other conventions or is it only Narcon? Uh, I do like Confusion as well in, uh, what is it called, uh, in uh, Yetboy. It's a really good convention and I actually met a lot of my friends there. Have you gone to Narcon Summer as well? Uh, yes, uh, I actually worked there as a panda and I actually really liked it. And like I met also some of my friends there and I think Narcon Soma is the peak geek of the like <laughs> of the of the like Narcon series. Peak geek, I'm stealing that for summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. What do you think about Narcon? I love Narcon very much. It's very fun. <laughs> do you go to every Narcon ever? I try to go to every Narcon. I love it. <laughs> and I guess you like Narcon as well? I do like Narcon, yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> Just pretty good. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, it's really good. It's really good, but you can't be, you can't say too much, you know? <laughs> Gotta Nothing is a 10. It's always nine at most. Yeah, exactly. That's a good way to look at that. Look at life. <laughs> is it a bit colder now than uh, in summer? Yeah, it's a little bit colder. Just a little bit. <laughs> but uh, warmer than last winter, so it's not too bad. Hey, Narcon Horse, how does it feel? Are people treating you well? I take that as a nay. Aside from all the activities at Narcon, there's also, of course, a lot of geek merchandise. Apparently, the exchange rate for Mora to Swedish crowns is uh, 3 Mora for 10 crowns. I'm not sure if that's the official rate or if it's black market though. And of course, there's also the Artist Alley with amazing creators of all kinds. Apparently, this guy is shooting a music video. Oh, let's see if we can get in on that. You're shooting a music video here at Nadcon. How come it's at Nadcon? Because, you know, this, I saw this guy. He say I'm a rapper. Say, I told my friend, let's go to ask him. Maybe he can do something. And I see like all people hyping and stuff. Say, why not? We started without any planning, you know? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. And there's a lot of hype. All the people here seem to like it. Yeah, I hope so. So now, 
you are going to do the behind the scenes, I yeah, guess. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's an amazing costume, but how do you pronounce your character's name? Uh, I pronounce it Clorind. I don't really know if it's... Not everyone does that, but I think it's like the most correct to me, so... Yeah, I say use Torin. Yeah, that's why I asked, because I, I don't even dare try to pronounce it. Either way, amazing costume. Thank you, I made it myself. Oh, really? For a really long time. How long did it, did it take? Uh, like two or three months. Bloody yeah. hell, so you must have started it when you saw the first pictures, basically. Uh, so my friend wanted to like have this panel, and I checked this like uh, character out, and I also love the game. So I was like, yeah, I want to make her costume. Those looks are amazing. Is it your real hair? Of course. How did you make the hair? Uh, I used tape and um, some metal wires. And then I just glued like some hair from a wig on it. That's so smart. Yeah, because it, it, it looks so hair texture like. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Excellent work, and it looks amazing. Apparently, I'm gonna draw a cat for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's uh, for charity, for, for Palestine. For charity. I These ones are so good. But, but <laughs> I can't even do that. You can do a bad one. We, okay. We're not catsist. Catsist. <laughs> we accept any and all cats. Yep. Any comments, Axel? No. Thank <laughs> you. What you just said, that was cat on gold fur. That was not cat on gold fur. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm not sure what it is. It, it's uh, it's supposed it's to be a little bit disfigured, but that's cute. okay. Yeah, we it's, can uh, see the cat. It's, it's really good. almost it's a cat. Cute. So you're having people challenge you at Mario Kart. Have many people won against you? Yeah, like one, around one. <laughs> one person. Yeah, yeah. How, how many have tried? Uh, around three, four. Uh, so far, I came here yesterday around like uh, six. Oh, nice. So there's going to be a lot more challenges today, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be super fun. <laughs> Good luck. Hope you don't have to give out any candy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. I have so much, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I love that Nouvellet costume. So do you think that all dragons should get their powers back? Definitely. <laughs> You're not biased at all. Um... Let's not talk about that. What do you think about Narcon? Uh, I think Narcon is really fun. You get, a lot, you get to meet a lot of people that may think the same as you about different games and animes, for example. So to meet new people is a wonderful thing here at Narcon. Yeah, so it's like a melting pot of geeks of all kinds. Yeah, exactly. Hey, what are you cosplaying as? Uh, the engineer from Team Fortress 2. There seems to be a lot of Team Fortress 2 players here. Yeah, it seems like that. <laughs> I have met a few of them too. <laughs> yeah, a medic and an engineer. Have you seen any others? Yeah, yeah I've seen a Team Fortress soldier too. Well, somewhere here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you play a lot yourself? Yeah, I do. <laughs> but, but it's been a while since I do it so I do it from time to time but I see that you have a duck on your shoulder mm -hmm. yeah. I do do you always have a duck on your shoulder usually every Nikon <laughs> so uh, is it gonna come out Nikon summer as well it will his name is Gary and why <laughs> I don't know <laughs> not not why Gary why the duck I mean <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Fair enough, it's a lovely duck. Can he do any tricks? Uh, he can do flips. Ooh. Can you show me? He can do a little... <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned that NatCon focuses a lot on social interaction, as opposed to, for example, Comic-Con, which is a lot more commercial. There is geek merchandise here, but it's in a minority compared to everything else that's going on. DreamHack is also an event that has a lot of commercial activity and bells and whistles in general, but it's very different from Nadcon. That one doesn't have as much anime and cosplay at all as Nadcon. Someday I'm gonna draw like a Venn diagram of different conventions and see what type of geekdom goes to which. It would be quite interesting. Anyway, Nadcon is a bit of a one-of-a-kind. 
Aside from all the general cosplay at Maricom, there's also cosplay competitions. First of all, there was a novice and intermediate cosplay competition that I unfortunately missed, but at least I got to see the winners presented on stage. There's also a cosplay performance competition where you're allowed to compete no matter if you made your costume yourself or if you bought it. All of those competitions are of course quite exciting and I'm just gonna continue to talk a bit because I'm gonna use that as a b-roll while I'm talking. So yeah, I have nothing more to say but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna talk anyway. That's what I typically do. But then Saturday night has the crown jewel of the competitions. That's when you get to see the Swedish masterships in cosplay. Can you sense the excitement? Can you sense the trepidation? Well, I can't right now because first of all, we're actually gonna watch a cosplay walk-on. So that's the pre-show before the competition. Either way, I think it's time for me to shut up and time for you to look at some wonderful displays of cosplay and performances. This is probably a good way to end the video, so like and subscribe, but most importantly, remember to stay geeky out there.